Hey guys, it's Sasha here from Mountain Pass Performance, and we wanted to share with you adjustment tips and kind of the theory of how uh, our rear arms work for the Model S Palladium, so either the Plaid or the 2021 and newer uh, Model S uh, cars. So we have here our trailing arm and lower control arm. Both arms are adjustable, and you have really easy access of the adjusters from underneath the car. So when your alignment tech is working underneath here, he can quickly adjust um, the arms. And the nice thing is we have both of them being adjustable because the, the Model S, when you lower it, it has a tendency to have a fairly extreme bump steer and compression. And what, what this means is normally you want your wheels to be going up and down and the toe or the direction that they're pointing to not change as they go through their suspension travel. But in the case of the Model S, as it compresses more than the car was designed for, so when you start lowering the car with, with lowering links or with our FUCA kit, the the, the front of the wheels start pointing away from each other, so towing out basically as the suspension compresses. And what this means is as you lower your car, the alignment is gonna change significantly from when you're at a higher setting. And when you go around corners and hit bumps, then the wheels are gonna be moving out and the back of the car is gonna be moving around on you on these kind of, well, when you want it to happen the least because you're hitting a big bump and all of a sudden the back of the car is kind of, kind of moving out. So by offsetting these two arms, you're able to, to kind of adjust that out. And what we've found from our modeling and testing with the, um, with the Plaid R that we built is that when you shorten this front arm six millimeters more than the rear arm, that's kind of the maximum you want to go and that's going to totally take care of the bump steer issue. So depending on how low you run the, the vehicle, you'll, you'll need to, to balance that out. If you run the vehicle at the OEM height, then you'll want to leave both the gap between both arms the same. And that's going to have the same geometry as the factory Model S. But if you're running the car quite low, like with lowering links minus eight, then you're going to want to shorten this front arm about six millimeters more than the rear arm. And so what this means is you can shorten both of them together, or you can extend this one three and shorten the front one three. But as long as the difference between the two is not greater than six, then the geometry is still acceptable and you've now achieved uh, a correction to your bump steer and you've been able to tune your camber to what you want uh, all with, with these two arms. So I hope that gives you a little bit of insight into how to adjust these arms and why we've designed them this way. Thanks as always for choosing Mountain Pass.